lemon brains, but we can still like them. The two areas in which there is the greatest amount of myth and knowledge void are 1. Dog behavior, i.e. the genetic endowment and constraints or hardwiring the dog comes with, and 2. Animal learning, i.e. the nuts and bolts about how experience affects the behavior of dogs and other animals, including us. Humans also learn through operant and classical conditioning. Classical and Pavlovian conditioning are the same thing. In this respect, we are like dogs. However, we, unlike dogs, are also masterful at learning through observation and insight. We have language to mediate our thoughts. We can move mentally from past to present to future and think abstractly. We internalize values taught to us, most of us developing qualities like compassion and a conscience, a sense of right and wrong. Behaving congruently with our values gives us self-esteem, a feeling of integrity, all of which swishes dogs completely. Dogs are completely and innocently selfish. They learn almost exclusively through operant and classical conditioning. Although some of their behaviors are socially facilitated, there is no good evidence that they have the all-purpose Swiss Army knife imitation tool that humans have. Here is the important point. This doesn't make them stupid or any less valuable than they would be if they could think more like us. In fact, dogs are great learners. They can discriminate extremely fine differences in their environment. They have incredible olfactory powers. They can deal with complex social environments. They may have a rich emotional life, but they do not think abstractly. They are amoral. They cannot move mentally forward and backward through time. And although they can learn to discriminate the relevance of certain words, they do not understand language.